Hello, and welcome to another one of my world famous puzzles. My name is Morris, and I'm a cat that likes to solve puzzles. This is a very old problem, first set by William Whiston in 1702. I like this puzzle because it has a very surprising answer. I am joined by my not very bright assistant here, but I don't need his help today. This problem is about two really long ropes, A and B. Rope A is long enough that it could wrap around the Earth's equator and fit snugly like a belt. Let's say 40,000 kilometres long. Rope B is just a bit longer than rope A. Rope B could wrap around the Earth's equator from one metre off the ground. How much longer is rope B than A? Assume the Earth is a perfect sphere. If we repeated the experiment based on Jupiter, whose circumference is around 440,000 kilometres, in this case, how much longer is rope B than A? As usual, we will wait a few seconds before giving the answer in case you want to pause the video to try and solve the puzzle for yourselves. In this case, I think it's worth having a little go. Here is the answer. The surprising part is that the same answer applies to both the Earth and Jupiter. To see why, suppose that R is the radius of the Earth. Then the larger rope B would have a radius of R plus 1 metre. We can calculate how much longer rope B is by subtracting the circumferences of the two circles. The larger rope has a circumference of 2 pi times r plus 1 metre. And the smaller rope has a circumference of 2 pi times r. 2 pi r plus 1 minus 2 pi r equals 2 pi about 6.28 metres. Therefore, rope B is longer by 6.28 metres. But notice the remarkable thing. The answer does not depend on the radius of the circle. This means we have solved the problem for any size sphere. Hence, for Jupiter, rope B is again longer than A by about 6.28 metres. That's why this is one of my favourite puzzles. If, like me, you like puzzles, then you should subscribe to my YouTube channel or watch one of the many others I have posted. Bye-bye. Keep puzzling.